Uh, Madam Speaker, I rise today to celebrate National Nurses Week. We all know a nurse uh, that has helped us throughout uh, our time in life, and, and I'm no different. You know, uh, my story starts with my grandfather. You know, he had an eighth grade education uh, when his, he was a rancher. When his country called, he proudly served in World War II. He came home and he became a, a civil servant at Kelly Air Force Base. He went off to raise seven beautiful children. One of those was my aunt who became a nurse. And I have two cousins, Natalie and Sandy, that are nurses. But the story for me is much more personal than that. About three years ago, uh, you know, 10 days from now would be my three year, three year anniversary of life. I went into Bamsey uh, Medical Facility for a routine procedure. I was intubated incorrectly, I coded, I had brain trauma, I had kidney failure, I was in a coma for three days, I was in the hospital for 23 days. And I praise God that those nurses at Bamsey brought me back to life. In particular, there were three nurses, Monica, Alicia, and Jenna. Alicia was my day nurse. She's the one that kept me alive in, at the, in daytime. Jenna kept me in, alive at night. And without nurses, I wouldn't be here. Many of us have similar stories. Many of us know of similar stories. You know, in this institution, we lose sight sometimes of the everyday people that roll up their sleeves and go to work and make this country better. You know, this partisanship that divides this country does not happen in the nursing world. Nurses don't care who you voted for. They don't care your color, your skin. They don't care who you pray, for, pray to. They care about life and protecting life, making sure those have all the opportunities for a, a great quality of life. And I am grateful to all the nurses out there, in particular, those serving at BAMSI. With that, I, I yield back.